thank you for joining this lesson. We're continuing with matrices and transformations. And in this case, we're going to look at a single transformation that can be used to replace what we call successive transformations. Subscribe and share this link with friends. Let me start by giving an example. We've been told that a triangle ABC triangle A, B, C as vertices A, which is a one four, B, which is a one one, and C, which is a three one. The triangle undergoes transformation. The triangle undergoes transformation transformation VR where V equals two transformation v equals to 0 1 then uh, 1 0 and r equals to 0 1 negative 1 0 so with this now we can say find part 1 A triangle A B C the final image in the transformation in the transformation we are and number two we can also find a single transformation a single transformation a single transformation matrix that can replace the successive transformations. Therefore, we can start by evaluating this. <clears throat> when you look at uh, the way the successive transformation has been written, VR, it means R is being performed first. Therefore, we begin with R, which is zero solution now. We have zero, one, negative one, zero. This one should be multiplied by a, B, C. We pick the column vectors. So 1, 4, then 1, 1, then 3, 1. Therefore, when we carry out multiplication here, we're going to have this row times the first column, whereby 0 goes with 1 and 1 with 4. Therefore, we're going to have 4 because uh, I have the next one. We have 0 and 1 and 1 by 1, which gives us 1. Then uh, on that row, we're going to have finally the same row and the last column now, 0 by 3 and 1 by 1, which makes it 1. Then now we come to the second row, whereby we require this row times the first column, negative 1 by 1 and 0 by 4. We just get negative 1. Negative 1 by 1 and 0 by 1, we get negative 1. And negative 1 again by 3, then 0 by 1, we get negative 3. This is a A, B, C prime. So now we carry out the last transformation, which is now B, uh, 0, 1, 0. And now this one will be multiplied by A, B, C, which are 4, negative 1, 1, negative 1, and 1, negative 3. 
this is equivalent to when now we pre-multiply this row times the first column we're going to have zero by four and one by negative one making it negative one then we have the next column zero by one and one by negative one still negative one then we are also having a zero for the last column here zero by one and negative one by negative three making it negative three then for the last row we're going to have a, this row times the first column one by four and zero by negative one so we get four then we have again one by one and zero by negative one we get one and finally we shall have one by one and zero by negative three we get one therefore this is going to be a double prime b double prime and c double prime therefore a double prime is negative one for b double prime is a negative one one and c double prime is negative three one after this now we go to the second part here yeah, part two whereby we are told to find a matrix of transformation which would map a b c hmm? a single transformation that maps that maps a b c on to a double prime b double prime c double prime so the matrix that would do that because we have already learned how to calculate matrices when we are given an object and its image that is what we are exactly going to do an image that would map a onto a prime b prime c prime we're going to say the matrix is a b c d this one should map a which is one four then one one then three one on two the double prime which is here negative one four then negative one one and negative three one so we want the matrix which is responsible for this single transformation now mapping a b c onto a double prime b double prime and c double prime so now <clears throat> we will say the first column here the first row times the first column will give us the first element therefore a by one and b by four that is a plus four b should give us negative one this is one equation then again the same row times the second column here should give us the next element therefore a by one and b by one that is a plus b should give us negative one this is going to be the second equation because the two equations are in a and b we can solve them simultaneously and we get the values of a something else we should know is that the values of a the coefficients of a are the same so we can use elimination method whereby a minus a will give us zero then we are going to have a 4b uh, minus b which is going to be 3b equals to negative 1 minus 1 which becomes negative 1 plus 1 0 so the value of b equals to 0 when we divide through by 3 now we substitute in any of the equations so that you may know a and from equation 1 a is going to be negative 1 then uh, we have 4b and when this one is multiplied by 4 by b which is 0 it becomes 0 therefore a equals to negative 1 we can go to another pair of equations which will have c and d so now we can say that uh, when we pick this row in the first column we're going to have c by 1 and 4 by d so c plus 4d should give us the first element here which is 4 this is equation 3 we also supposed to know that uh, when we take c by the second column here now c by 1 and d by 1 that is c plus d we should get the next which is 1 and therefore because the coefficients of c are equal then c minus c becomes 0 
and 4d minus d becomes 3d such that uh, 4 minus 1 becomes 3 and the value of d is now 1. If the value of d is 1 we can get the value of c which is uh, going to be c equals to 4 minus 4 times d which is 1. So this is going to be 0. So the matrix of transformation that maps a, B, C onto A, B, C double prime is going to be A, negative 1, B, 0, uh, C is going to be also 0, and D is 1. Therefore, this is the matrix of transformation which is responsible for such a transformation. Uh, alternatively, alternatively, because we have a, the matrix of transformation written as this, we can uh, have V multiplied by R. Therefore, V is going to be 0, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, multiplied by R, which is going to be 0, 1, negative 1, 0, 0, 1, negative 1, 0. Therefore, let's multiply V and R the way they have been written. And you discover when we multiply this row and the first column here, we're going to have 0 by 0 and 1 by negative 1, giving us negative 1. Then we shall have the first row again by the last column here, which gives us 0 by 1 and 1 by 0. This becomes 0. Then we have this row and the first column. So 1 by 0 and 0 by negative 1. So 1 by 0 becomes 0, 0 by negative 1 also becomes 0. And finally, we shall have this row and the first column, 1 by 1 giving us 1, 0 by 0 giving us 0, so 1. Therefore, you can see the product of VR is the same as the matrix of transformation we have obtained up here. So instead of using this long method of expressing a known matrix, times the object should give us the final image and we evaluate to get this matrix we can simply get the product of the two matrices in the order in which they have been written therefore a single you can write this note now a single matrix for a successive or successive transformation is the product is the product of the two matrices in the order in which they have been written or in the order in which they have been performed.